how to compare lists in Excel and find something that is missing or to find information that are being repeated. Here I have two different sales reports that are separate from each other, one for January, another one for February, but I need to check if there is or not information that are being repeated between those two different sheets or if there is some information that are being missing. To do it, we need first to understand what we're going to use as the criteria because what is going to tell us if something is being repeated or if something is being missing. So this is important to, let's say, to define. As the information I have, the order ID, the date, the product name, the brand, and uh, the customer name and the state. Let's say I can use as the criteria to tell me if something is being repeated or not, the order ID, the date, the customer name and the state. So let's take a look here. As the order ID, as I can see, those first two rows are being repeated because I have the same order ID. But it doesn't matter because it's going to happen. Uh, if you take a look here, I have the same order ID, but it's also for, for the same customer. And uh, it's also for the same state. So basically, it's the same person who made this order and bought the different products. Omega-3 and protein powder, for example. But uh, it's okay. It, uh, it can happen. I can have the same order ID to the same person, to the same state, but uh, because uh, the person is buying different products. But uh, what cannot happen is, if I take a look here in the February, I cannot have here in the February sales the same order ID, the same product and brand, the same customer, the same state that I have also in the February sales report. Okay, so I need to do something here to be able to match those informations. I can use maybe the VLOOKUP function or the XLOOKUP function or even the COUNT IF function. I'm going to use the COUNT IF function. As I have many different criteria, maybe we can append all those criteria together and then we can count how many times the same criteria appears uh, in, the, in the other list that I have. But of course, there is many different ways to solve this question. Well, let's start with using here a helper column. And in this column, I'm going to use equal sign, equal sign. And then I'm going to select my first criteria, that is the order ID, because the order ID can indicate to me if something is being repeated or not. So order ID. And then I'm going to use here the percent, percent, this one right here, to append another cell, another criteria. And that another criteria that I want to append here, it's going to be, for example, the date. But I'm going to skip the date. I'm going to take maybe the customer. I don't think in this scenario that I have, the date is important. But so I'm going to take the, the customer name. And then I'm going to append, percent append with the state. Let me press enter here. And okay, now we append a lot of different cells together. And that way we have a more complex criteria. Let me click, hold and drag down this function to make sure we can append all the rows that I have until the end of my data, like this. Now I'm going to do the same thing here in the February sheet. Maybe I can use, again, the same column. This is going to be the helper column. And I'm going to append equal sign, the order ID, percent with the customer name, percent with the state, and then enter. Let me bring it down like this. Okay, and I'm done here too. And I can stay here in the February sales report, and I can use this specific criteria that we, that we are combining multiple cells. I can see how many times this specific criteria appears also in the January sales report. To count this information, we can use a count if function. This is what I'm going to do here. Let me just increase the size of the column O. Click, hold, and drag to the right in between one column and another. Column O and P. Click here and drag to the right like this. Okay. Now the column P, I want to use uh, the quantity. Let's say enter. And as the quantity equal sign count if function. Double click here. One, two to select. As the range that I want to count is here, I want to use. This range right here, where we have the criteria, and then comma. Now the count if function is asking us about the criteria argument, and the criteria is here in the February. I want to count anything that is equal to this criteria we did with the percent. So let me press enter here. And yeah, it's equal to zero. So it indicates to me that uh, this specific criteria or those three criteria are not being used in the January sales report. So it's okay, it's good. This indicates that this order ID is not being repeated. Let me double click here in the DAO, in the bottom right corner of the cell, one, two, to make sure I can cope down the same function. And as you can see here, uh, I got two as a result that uh, this indicates that this specific criteria or this order 
already appeared in the January sales report. So maybe I can filter all the values that are greater than zero and read it off all this information because I already have the same information in the January sales report. So this is how we can compare lists in Excel. Of course, you can do the same process and I, instead of using the February sales report, you can use the January. But if you use January instead of February, here in January, you're going to be able to see the orders that you have in January that are already being used in the February. But because we use it February, I can see all the orders that I have in February, but are already being used in the January. So I can choose either sheets to, to use. And uh, with all those values that are greater than zero, I want to read it off the information because I, I don't want to have repeated values. So how can I apply here a filter? Let's say I can click anywhere within those values that I have and then Control Shift L to apply the filters. I'm going to click here in the quantity filter like this and I can select everything but the zero and then click OK. So those are the repetitions that I have two, four, three, and on and on. So all those orders that I have here, these criteria already are being used in the January sales report. So I can select all those rows, clicking the number here to the left and drag down like this. And then I can press Ctrl minus, Ctrl minus to read it off all those rows. Now I can go back here to the filter and then clear filter from quantity. And I done. So this is how we can check the missing information, see what we have in one sheet and don't have in another one. And also how can we see the repeated values compare two lists in Excel or three different lists or you can use as many lists as you want to use here. So I hope this video can help you out. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow. As every day has a new video, I see you there.